Dearly beloved. Oh, wait, wait a minute. No, that's the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> Isn't that the artist We're recording now. This is awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm out of practice. you got to know that. We've been on a little recording break, and now here we are. And this is Chris talking to you from the studios of WFC3. It is time once again for your weekly dose of monkey business. As always, in the studio with me, the irrepressible and ever-present Billy DeTore. Say hello. Hi. There we go. <laughs> Tanya Metris is here with us today as well as always. Hello. And uh, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, Zach and Rob are with us. Hello, Earthlings. Cheerio. Cheerio. Oh, yeah, Rob, your enthusiasm oh, is intoxicating, <laughs> Rob. He's been threatened that he'd get fired. Dolly Marie. Say hi, Dolly Marie. Hello. We've missed you. you got to remember, get right in on that microphone. I'm right dearie. in there. I know, because you you're, you're like the biggest presence in the room and yet the gentlest voice in the recordings. Also on mic today with us, Ray King, and our so man I'm about back. town and master of folk dancing and master of all things Power Ranger. And so I'm back from outer space. So he's back from outer space. Tony's sitting on the couch. He's hiding in the back corner. <laughs> intern Tony, which became staffer Tony, he's going to be demoted to intern. He's taking a nap. Poor college boy. Poor college boy. That's the only boy. nap he's going to be able to get. That's it. I think seriously. I, I think well, he's, I, I think he came to podcast today recording today just so he can get a little bit of a nap. The in. midterms are coming out, isn't aren't they? Midterms? Didn't they just start? They're in the middle of midterms. They were in the middle of midterms already. Really? Oh man. Yeah. On the phone with us, our beloved producer Sherry Elbersky. Hello, Sherry. Salutations. Salutations. Oh, say, and there? last, but certainly absolutely not least, our victim of the day. Hailing from the hallowed halls of Arlene's Costumes, one of Rochester's iconic institutions. What's your, what's your title, T? What's your title? Marketing manager. Marketing manager, Terry Sinopoli. And Terry has the, um, the infamous task of being our actual first legitimate interview ever for Monkey Business. Now, a while back, Billy, Tanya, and I practiced by, by interviewing each other for the fun of it, and, and, and that was entertaining that as hell. Fun. <laughs> but seriously, I'm, I, as, as, as exciting Definitely as I try fun. to be in person, I really, I'm, I'm, there's not a lot of interesting things about me going on. So, so really, interviewing us was just kind of a, a dry run. But you are on the hot seat, young lady. First victim. First victim. So, Terry, you're going to tell us, tell us a little bit about yourself first. Tell us a little bit about your, your history in, in this particular company? Ah. My history in this particular company is uh, since birth. Does that work? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been the family business, hasn't it? It is the family business. We have been around uh, 61 years now. Now, you uh, haven't been around 61 years. Oh, no. No. That, I, but tomorrow tomorrow is going to be a because today is October 1st. We're recording on October 1st, but October 2nd is, is Terry's birthday birthday mm -hmm. happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear terry happy birthday to you ray Thank was you guys. Ray, we're grateful you didn't join in on that thank you very I much i conduct for that. a fantastic symphony there. <laughs> yes you do that was Mind. fabulous <laughs> and she's now turning a lovely shade of red that matches almost matches her hair um, 29.95 and strong there it is um, um, so this is the family business. Now, is, is. is Arlene a real person? Is she Arlene a real thing? Arlene is a real person. Arlene is my great aunt, although if you ever say that to her, she will probably smack you. Yeah. But, um, but she is my aunt. She is my grandmother's sister. Uh -huh. And she and my grandmother are partners. Okay. So Arlene and Donna. My mother is the general manager, mm -hmm. and I handle all the marketing. Wow. So it really is. It's a family business. Mm -hmm. now, my brothers work for the company. My dad Pretty much everyone. <laughs> Pretty much everybody. So, and, and and I will be. I will, I'll admit that way back in the day, I actually worked for the company too. So I know a little bit of. I, some, I know ladder. the answer to some of the. Yeah, I moved the ladder. <laughs> that was my job was moving the ladder. Um, the, I, I know some of the answers to the questions I'm going to ask today. But since you guys don't, I'm going to ask the questions anyway. Um, now, did Arlene start the business? Arlene started the business with my great grandmother, um, mm -hmm. Mildred. Although. She went by Molly, which is where my daughter's name came from. Right, that's named after that. her yeah. great great grandmother, and they started it as the next to new shop, um, which was actually a vintage clothing store uh, back in the fifties on uh, East Main Street. Okay, and back in those times, vintage was not so posh, and right. it was kind of seen as a as a bad thing. As a no go, so huh. people would sneak in on their lunch breaks to be able to go and, and get their vintage clothing and their their used clothing. So, is this so. something that was? Did they have like a particular way of marketing it so that you, they kind of fought the stigma? Uh, yeah, a little bit. They they would get the word out through word of mouth. They would get the word mm -hmm. out, kind of the the, the first of uh, 
uh, of the word of mouth businesses in the area and mm-hmm. long obviously before social media so they, mm-hmm. they had to do it well and they had to do it right mm-hmm. um, and then they started to do costumes they saw little kids in the neighborhood running around uh, in garbage bags and homemade things that mm-hmm. would be called DIY today <laughs> um, <laughs> but not so much back then right so they started making kids costumes and then got uh, distribution and and went from there that's amazing that's outstanding now rob you were particularly keen on that because you you love history yeah and that's you and i met way back in our fisher days together studying history so that was something you were keen on it was and my grandma used to live years ago by that apartment complex by johnny's okay we would go by and my dad would take me i remember i got a cape there for halloween one year (laughs) I was more George Hamill in Love at First Bite than Bela Lugosi. But still, <laughs> <laughs> so, and I love the idea that over the years you've had to obviously look at the trends and how, is, how has it changed over the decades in terms, because I know my parents had Halloween, adults did have Halloween parties. I've right. seen pictures yeah. of my parents. But how is like, you know, having to have a niche business to survive all these decades is amazing. It's yes. great. Yes, we've, uh, we've had to really, really um, change with the times. We've had to grow. We've had to make some very tough decisions to say, you know, especially recently, um, we made a decision this year based on unfortunate circumstances that we were not going to open our Eastview Mall location. Um, So we have only two uh, brick and mortar stores. And well, one thing I've noticed from comic book stores, like my old one, they did one. Actually, the one person told me we only stay open for you because we do so much online. Do you really do a lot more online now? We truly do. Um, we have actually four different online locations, if you will. Um, we sell on our own website. Uh, we sell on Amazon, Walmart.com, and eBay. How much of a challenge is it, is it to to maintain that kind of a presence? Um, well, it, it is a huge challenge. We have to maintain our inventory every mm-hmm. day, <laughs> every hour, um, and, and we do it all pretty much by hand. We use a very large spreadsheet, and we take our inventory several times a year. So it's it's something that we all do together, and, and the teamwork definitely makes the dream work in this case. Yeah. Now, did you find yourself with a lot of like a lot of help? Is there a small team going on, or is it, it you find yourself kind of like the lone wolf once in a while? <laughs> once in a while, but <laughs> no, we do have a small team going, and it's mm-hmm. uh, mostly family and close friends. Um, mm-hmm. We did take on an intern this year and he also got hired on as staff so <laughs> interns are amazing i love interns they're they're so fireable i mean uh so handy handy he fires That's me the... on a daily basis now because i can't do it to anthony anymore oh i can demote tony and then fire him it's, it's there's extra bonuses there yes. there's icing on that cake the oh yeah there is that threat <laughs> yeah um <laughs> they threatened to fire me too but that's a whole I, yeah <laughs> they've been threatening to fire you since you were 14. oh he, he came in yeah. at, at uh mini con he, he fired me like four times <laughs> I was like, do you feel just better four? now? Yeah, well, it, it, he walked, Ray walked up to me at Minicon, and we shook hands. I said, hi, and I said, you're fired. <laughs> and he goes, oh. I said, well, I'm making up for lost time. He's like, oh, okay. I said, you're hired. Now get back to work. He goes, okay. So, <laughs> I said, do you feel better now? He's like, of course I, I do. I felt like I've a met. whole new man. <laughs> Seriously, I felt like a whole new man that day. The people, the people at World Gym were wondering, what is these people's problems? <laughs> Anyway, we don't um, have enough time for that. Seriously, <laughs> there, there's the whole podcast series on that series on that alone. Series? Does anybody else have a question for Terry? Because I can sit here and chat Billy, with her all day long. Actually, I do. Go uh, with it, Billy. Over the uh, course of time, there's things that coming in pop culture. There's things get that get hot for just a hot second and then not popular. So I'm assuming there are Halloweens where there's the hot costume that's never heard from again. After that, what do you do with the costume that was popular two years ago that no one cares about now? Every Halloween that happens. Um, we basically take, if we have any leftovers, we, we try to repurpose that costume for something else. A lot of times um, the costuming industry will take a costume and develop it into something else later. Kind of the way that the Halloween mask came about. That oh, mask was originally from no from oh. Halloween. Oh, the the original Captain Kirk hockey mask. Yes, right. correct. Okay. So repurposing masks and costumes has been part of the industry for many many years, 
and and it still happens to this day. We see uh, dresses, we see superheroes, basically the same general styles that come back year after year with a new color or a new print, and and they make them work, and we make them work. <laughs> there you go. You kind of have, have to. Go ahead, Del. Okay. Would you say the growing popularity of like Comic Cons has like boosted your company's like popularity or just your company in general? Because before you said like it was mostly costumes, so we mm -hmm. think costumes, we think Halloween, mm -hmm. but lately with the like resurgence or just the mm -hmm. growing popularity of the Comic Con, how I do you think, think that affected your company? Mm -hmm. I think it's helped in creating a year round presence, although we've always been a year round company because we have theatrical style costumes both for retail and for rent. Um, we don't just focus on Halloween, although most people call us a Halloween shop, and that's a no-no. <laughs> <laughs> but we we are now more of an of a full year-round costume shop for many many purposes: um, theater, school events, comic cons, um, Christmas. Definitely Christmas. <laughs> Christmas oh. is actually our second biggest time of the year. Tell, tell them about the chair. Yes, um, we have the chair, the Christmas Santa chair that was um, housed at Midtown Plaza for many, many years. Most of us remember, especially if you're even close to as old as I am. <laughs> or, just, just or me. Yeah, just remember, Billy and I are always older. <laughs> yeah. so that's, that's right. And, and Rob's that. a little older, too. I miss Wait, being are you right. on so I'm days. talking about the Santa chair that if you ever went down to Midtown with your parents and sat on Santa's lap on Magic oh, yeah. Mountain... And rode the monorail. And rode yep. the monorail. I'm we have it. I we we that. actually acquired it at an auction back in 2008. Um, we wanted to keep it here locally in the area, and we use it for many, many different purposes. That's so cool. <laughs> um, some companies will rent it out, but we also use it for fundraisers and special events, and we get pictures with the kids, and my kids love it. My cats love it. We have house <laughs> cats at our office, by the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, it's 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 Wolfie and Oreo. Wolfie and Oreo, black okay. cat and a black and white cat, and they they make sure that everything gets done properly and make sure that all the you know costumes get out the way they should. Yes, but they also the, make the sure that cats. yes they are. They also make sure that the uh, Santa chair gets well loved. I have a question. Go ahead, Rick. Please. So get right in on that microphone, Bubba. Yeah. So I know with uh, being a, on a well a costume shop, mm -hmm. how do you? Because most of them are with the superheroes and, and, and the movies and stuff. How do you acquire licenses to be able to sell those? We have very good relationships with our distributors and the manufacturers for those costumes. Um, we use, we have over 300 different distributors, but our main ones are the ones that do carry those licenses. So you get them through them. We actually go to shows. Um, we start searching for the next year's costumes in January. I'll be away on business in January going to uh, New Orleans and Las Vegas for shows. And we make a list of all the different movies and all the different costumes and different things that we know are coming up. And we talk about them uh, with our salesmen and we get the right costumes. And then as things get released throughout the year... Um, Sometimes there are sleepers, sometimes there are mm. movies and shows we didn't expect, and then we buy throughout the year as well because we have a really good relationship with them and we can get things pretty quickly. We can even do special orders in certain circumstances, so if anyone is ever looking for anything, we can certainly get that as well. Now, do you, do you think that uh, Senior, Pen <laughs> Senior Pennywise will be making a <laughs> <laughs> Halloween comeback this year? Pennywise is already in the works um some of the release dates for certain costumes and masks have been a little later this year unfortunately for various reasons between mm -hmm. storms and different things some of our distributors are in uh storm ravaged areas so it just depends on where they're coming from and how and where they were manufactured as mm -hmm. well um, so once they are in and we are able to sell them, then we can go ahead and release them. And we pretty much release same day as soon as we get them in. We don't hold them back. We don't see a purpose in that. It doesn't benefit you and it doesn't benefit us. Yeah, actually I actually have one because you said that every now and then you'll see 
a sleeper costume that you didn't see coming. Mm -hmm. What about the opposite? Was there ever one where everybody was expecting it to be this huge thing and mm -hmm. then it just flopped and nobody ever bought it? Yeah, there have been several of those. Unfortunately, we talk about superheroes a lot and we expect them to do extremely well, but not every superhero does extremely well. Or mm -hmm. sometimes they've released so many different types of the same superhero because of appearing in a comic book mm -hmm. and then a movie and then a TV show. So there are so many different versions of relatively the same character that they might force each other to flop. Do you get somebody who's carrying around like a smoke machine <laughs> claiming to be Galactus? <laughs> <laughs> One time I did that. <sighs> that was Billy. Billy's Sorry, like, Billy. <laughs> Sherry, you got anything for the conversation? Because I know you've been kind of just chilling listening to us today. Yeah. Um, my big question was just um, is there what's big this year? What do you expect to be big? And as a second part, what costumes have staying power? Um, well, I'll answer the second part of that first. The the costumes that have staying par power are usually the ones that are the most classic: the pirates, the witches, um, superheroes as a whole mm -hmm. could be considered in that category. As a collection, although individually. It depends. <laughs> um, this year, we actually did have a sleeper, and it actually has almost <laughs> nothing to do with any movie or anything. There's a very cute little ghost character. She's called an enchanted ghost, and she's got little chains, and she kind of looks all ghostly, and she kind of looks uh -huh. like she could be floating. And for some reason, it has just hit and run, and mm -hmm. we're trying to get more in. It's trending. So, so yes, it, it is very much trending, and if you're trying to find it, just give us a little more time. <laughs> <laughs> now, our, our, our box office goddess, Sybil, could not be with us today, but she did ask me to ask you about um, plus-size costumes. Of and Because from her angle, and because she's a bigger girl than average, and, and so her angle is that it seems to be there's an opacity of it. Mm -hmm. there's a, there's a, that selection's not as good. So what would you say to that? Um, actually, I would say that that is incorrect. Um, we actually have a large supply of plus-size costumes. We actually carry costumes all the way from infants and toddlers up through 5X. Um, and that There's hope for you yet, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> and that You've includes in our rentals. <laughs> rentals are a higher quality costume that, uh -huh. that we allow people to take out for a day or a couple days or a week. Okay. Um, but we carry them in all different sizes. Um, and especially lately, we have started to carry much more selection within even the plus size costume. So, for example, we have maybe a 1X, 2X, but then we might have a 3X, 4X. So they are all sized, whereas before they were just <laughs> a plus size. And costumes run small. They just do. Uh -huh. We don't know why. It's just they the... don't run like regular clothing. So unfortunately, you know, you really have to to be a little bit willing to, to try on and, and try some different things and, and be willing to go with a size that you might not normally wear in order to make something fit. Mm -hmm. So extra uh, medium for me. Extra yeah. medium. <laughs> yes. Extra medium works. Extra me Double extra medium. Yes. Yeah. That's uh, okay. But carrying... Uh, a variety of sizes in costumes is very important for mm -hmm. us. Um, mostly it's the ladies in my family who have run the business for many, many years, and mm -hmm. we've all fought with our weight. Arlene herself lost over 100 pounds 10 years ago and has kept it off. Good for her. Um, she went off of all of her medicines. She was on some pretty serious medicines. She right. was a breast cancer survivor and uh, went off of uh, diabetic medicines and various mm -hmm. things. And I myself just lost over 100 pounds since January. Congratulations. That's so, outstanding. Thank you. That's, this that's is dedication. very important to us. Yeah. So we make sure that we carry clothing that will not just fit, but look good. Mm-hmm. Because you know, if you're going to represent a particular personality or a costume, you want to be able to, to own the room when you walk in the door. That's Go ahead, correct. Ray. See, but what you just... I like I, I like what you say. I like what you say. You like what I say. You like what I say. No idea what you're but trying what to say. I have no <laughs> idea what I'm trying to say right now. <laughs> Ray's yeah. just so happy. Like, Ray has left the building. Ray's <laughs> just happy he can get a sexy nurse costume. I'm serious. Oh, yeah. And there's a rubber oh, chicken. They have I, a rubber I, chicken, Ray. So uh, they're, they're good. I like I've been checking them out. I like what you said because I'm a huge advocate of you know the the whole. You can wear whatever costume you want. Right. And and. And be happy. Yeah, it doesn't, exactly. Because if you like a character, you like 
a character. Exactly. Because, especially, you know, with, with conventions and, mm-hmm. and just regular Halloween parties, you know, I, I always bring, bring up that around this time and around mm-hmm. the times of, of conventions, you know, costumes are not an invitation. Yeah. And uh, see what he's doing right now. He's doing a very genius segue into a nice piece of the conversation. Oh, that we can, thank you, we can thank add you, thank you. I tried. It's, it's one of those moments where Ray is actually brilliant. Go with it. <laughs> Keep going. Run, run, run with it. Run, Ray. Run. Um, I actually, me, me and my uh, and my friend Terry. Uh huh. We were we not were, this Terry. No, not this Terry. There's another. Ter- there's I, more. There's like multiple Terrys. I know. I know another Terry. I only know the awesome. one. She's been my best friend since high school. Okay. And um, we had a Halloween party at in, in the school. Uh huh. And she was gonna. I think she was gonna wear like a right, like a regular pirate thing, like what Stephanie wore, right. wore to FC three. And um, we were supposed to check them in before the, the anybody can put them on, and it was fine. It was perfectly fine. But the principal's uh, reasons for not letting her wear them were because us guys would be distracted. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, I can hear Sherry's giggling. Gonna, <laughs> we hear this a lot. Hear, yeah, we got, we got a lot of that. See, if, go if, ahead, go if, ahead. If you up. really can't control yourself, especially in a, yeah. in a high school, right? then what was the point of allowing us to throw those those parties? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially at the school. The parents should not be teaching their, their girls to to mind the boys. Exactly. The parents should be teaching their boys to mind the f- girls and leave them alone. Exactly. You know? Because you see, you've seen me post about it all the time. Uh, the uh, uh, cosplay is not consent. Yeah. I always... Well, that's a big thing. That's definitely a big thing, especially in the convention community. So we've adopted it. And here, do, I, do I go preachy at the moment? I'm getting preachy. You okay, preach. let's go ahead. We're going to get preachy. Because I know I've posted something recently to the F- FC3 uh, Facebook. Um, I saw a, a blurb. I posted it, and I put a little thing on top of it. I don't remember the exact wording, but the gist of it was, don't worry about other people's opinions. I mean, mm-hmm. the thing about getting into the convention circuit is you hear the stories about people picking on each other. Well, that's not accurate. You know, you don't make a good person to do that. You you should you're, you don't have the right build for that character. And that's so funny because so, we 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 already deal with uh-huh. people messing with us. Yeah. Outside of conventions uh-huh. and and comic book shops and uh-huh. costume shops, it's like mm-hmm. we come to these places to get away from that. Yeah. Why are we? Ha- yeah. Why why do we have to come here and deal with it? Like like the really scrawny guy, you know, standing in the corner with the tin foil claws, thinking he's Wolverine because he he did a charcoal you know beard on himself and he's he's got a, a candy cigarette and he's the one banging away at somebody who's got uh, their slight, slightly larger than average build and they, no you shouldn't be dressed as Wonder Woman with, no not playing that game no. not allowing it to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, so there you know that's paraphrasing the actual <laughs> the actual thing there. You're um, doing what you love. Do what you're you love. Mm-hmm. Seriously, yeah. do what you love. And that, it sounds like, you know, to kind of circle. What? What's, heart cannon, not head cannon. Yeah, that was that was the post. <laughs> I remember that. Thank you, Tony. That, that's, yep. You're hired again. That's why um, I, lo- I, I love when people say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start wearing costumes. And yeah. I'm going to start costumes. I'm like, go for it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Zach, is, <laughs> Zach is stalking the donut holes right now, speaking of. I could have passed them to you. Well, no. and this is one reason why we carry multiple types of the same costume. Right. Well, so that everybody has an equal shot at it. Exactly. Um, you know, whether it be a specific character or whether it be a very generic a category of characters we mm-hmm. carry many many different pirates we whether it be for men or for women mm-hmm. we carry many many different versions of the same superhero or supervillain uh, we carry so many different categories and different costumes within each category so that everyone can kind of do their own thing I see mascots on the list too is that something that you guys have had a lot had a hand in we do. We both sell and rent mascots. Okay. So some companies will uh, choose to come in and, and rent a mascot for a parade or a party. Uh-huh. Um, and then eventually they might say, well, you know what? We'd really like to make our own. And we can hook them up with a couple of different companies that will create custom mascots. Oh, see, that's cool. That's something we were actually talking about doing because we're working on characters to uh, to populate FC3 with. Uh, currently, Rob is our mascot at the moment. I, I, it's We can put him in this gorilla costume. The gorilla I costume. Really make a good Marie I look, Antoinette. I, I, I kind of like You this do. Somewhere. I think you would make a really good Marie Antoinette, really. <laughs> you know, just have you, you know, off I'm, with her head. Off with her head. You know, let them eat cake. I have a question. Go ahead, Ray. So, what were your, your thoughts when when the Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad came out and 
the the costumes that ranged from you know, nothing teenagers to <laughs> adults to even little little kids or me and, and you and, <laughs> and, and, again and Rob, Rob went, <laughs> I'm sorry I don't want to see that but when you no. but what were your thoughts when no, you no, were like don't judge. A, uh, I don't know a little kid was wearing the Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad especially with her outfit being the way that it is. Well, we actually opted not to carry a very young child version of the specific Suicide Squad costume. We actually opted to carry one from DC Supergirls, okay. which is shorts, leggings, a very cute top. So it is much more appropriate. I and would those let are decisions my own daughter wear it, yeah, okay. um, which <laughs> says a lot. She's 10. Um, but my, uh, my, my niece. Um, actually, when Suicide Squad came out, um, wore went as Harley Quinn, but she wore a different costume, but just did the hair mm-hmm. from Suicide yeah. Squad because she loved her hair. I right. just I just pulled up the Harley Quinn deluxe costume. I don't know if you can see it here or on Chris's screen. Is Chris's screen open? Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. That yeah. one's definitely much more appropriate for. So a young that girl is than... DC Supergirl's version. There are several other. A lot more age appropriate. Uh, versions mm-hmm. for some of the different costumes um, within DC Supergirl's universe. So oh, look there... at that one in the middle. There's there's a, <laughs> there, there is a, a bat little girl. Jasmine. I'm... Yeah, yeah, that is really cute. That's adorable. Uh, that's Supergirl right there. You're seeing on Chris's screen. That's uh-huh. the the same. Uh, these category, same hey, you series. got those sneakers. <laughs> I do have those sneakers. I love those sneakers. My friend's daughter <laughs> dressed as that last year. The reason yeah. why I ask is, you mm-hmm. know, I'm not, I'm not bolting in it. I'm bolting. I'm not. I'm not uh, attacking any, any, that one's any for you, parents doll. who allowed oh. their their child to wear the Suicide Squad mm-hmm. Harley. But you know, no. there, are, there 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 are those decisions of, you know, there's this version of Harley Quinn. Mm-hmm. There's the version of, from regular. Uh, animated series there's the suicide squad so you know there was a lot of versions out there but the main one i saw asylum yeah there's different versions and and truthfully you can combine any of those versions and and we've all heard it we've all seen people say well that's not truly harley quinn then but but it's your version of harley quinn and why can't it be that's what cosplay is all about isn't Mm -hmm. it so you know we've seen many different versions we also sell an accessory kit where it's just an attached shirt and jacket so many parents allowed their daughters to wear that Mm -hmm. and then put some leggings with it so that it was a little more appropriate than you know fishnets and a pair of shorts also halloween in rochester you never know what you're going to get yeah you You know i mean or you could have 75 it's been like 80 degrees it's been 70 it's been 60 it's been 30 and snowing (laughs) and that's always been a challenge for us in this area because we have to accommodate local sales with costumes that you can either wear on top of clothing or not mind wearing a coat over. Yeah. Um, but we also have to accommodate our national sales and to a degree our international sales we sell to Canada. Nice. Um, All right, eh? So. You can be Wonder Woman, maple eh? syrup in, in return? <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily mind that. I wouldn't but, mind um... that either. I love me some maple syrup. <laughs> I've got family up there. I can have some shipped down. It's all good. I was All thinking right. about going up there, but my mom was like, but then oh. I have to travel out there. Okay, oh. but I'm not here. Yeah. <laughs> I would like a moose, please. Moose. I would love a yes. moose. Moose. Um, <laughs> moose and squirrel? Uh, mm. Yes. yes well, we please. have squirrel. I just need moose. I need... Never mind. I would, <laughs> I would want a moose, and I would name him Mosley. Mosley Moose? Mosley the Moose. Okay. The moose. I like it. Yeah, we're off topic now. <laughs> I'm going to start with Sherry on my next question. I'm going to be like, what is the... One Halloween costume that has been your all-time favorite or the one that you have been most wanting to do that you have not done yet. So that that's the that's going to be the question to everybody here that will start wrapping this particular panel up on. I'm going to start with Cher Bear. Go ahead, Cher. Okay. Well, um, I actually just recently posted a picture of me in uh, my favorite Halloween costume. Was that the, um, the... So if you're friends, if you're friends with me on Facebook, it looking was it up right now, purple and pink fairy with the striped stockings and the bodice. Like oh, right, right, right. Picture of me with, it's a picture of me with my daughter when she was, I think she was about nine in the picture. Uh-huh. Yep. That was Monk. That was, my, that was the, my favorite one that I've personally done. Tell Monkey Girl I said hi and give her a hug for me. <laughs> Will do. I'm actually standing outside talking to you guys in front of a convention right now. Woohoo! Oh, you're inside. at Uticon you're today. <laughs> I'm at Uticon. Outstanding. Tell the gang there we said hi. We wish them the best. Yes. Love the other cons in this in in New York State, man. They're awesome sauce. Mm-hmm. 
All right, she's Tanya searching. Several. Tanya's searching through your uh, your Facebook right now. Oh wait, wait, screw, screw. convention it might have been just easier to go to photos. Yeah, I was gonna say go to photos. Well, now you're just which one hair. was it? Are you wearing the pink wig? Uh, their hair falls, but yeah. Okay, I see it. And it's and she's like looks oh. like she's hitting me with a wand. Hold she's on, in a red fairy <laughs> costume, and I'm in a purple fairy costume. All right. Well, we'll figure that one out. So that's that's like your all time favorite costume. Is there one that you have not yet done yet that you want to? Um, I have some ideas, but there's nothing settled. It's um, I, I'm I, I'm really more. I'm like an amateur costumer, but I really make things more for other people. Okay. And I sounds like how Arlene's got started. Maybe you can be Arlene's too. I'm doing a Harley Quinn right now for my niece Katie, who you guys met at FC three. Right. Right. And I'm doing Alana's gender bent steampunk Nightwing. Oh, very cool! Oh, yes, yeah, right. She was telling me about that. I, re- I recently remember that. That's awesome. Yeah, and I'm working for this Halloween. I'm working on a uh, little demon costume for my two year old niece. Okay. So I don't have time to make costumes for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, we're going to get you in touch with Terry so she can help you hook up. All right, we're going to move oh, over to Billy, awesome. Big Bill. Favorite Halloween costume? Uh, I can't find the photo. My mom, many, many years ago, I was probably in my early 20s, mid 20s, uh, a, a court jester. Uh-huh. It, it was uh, green on one side, yellow on the other, had the hat with the jingly bells. Oh, and, that's awesome. And the uh, funny pants and uh-huh. the pointy shoes. And and I just thought it was a really neat costume and wore that a couple of years. And I've never been a big costume guy, but uh, uh, I had a couple parties to go to that year and. And I just like that one. I, now, I thought it looked kind of kind of neat. And in the future, if, if going forward, would you ever want to do like a full-on Batman or something? You know, at, at this point, there's probably too many Batman, so I always <laughs> go to the to the. Uh, you know, Batman would be great, but you could always be the Frank Miller Batman. There Frank Miller Batman, yeah, old man. Bill, Batman. Billy and your friend Bobby would get along famously. They're both huge Batman fans. Love it. So I. You know, pro- probably you. something in the Batman <laughs> universe. Maybe even go like as odd as Batmite. Okay, Batmike. <laughs> Batmite. No, Bat Bat do you remember Batmite? Oh my God! Yes, I do. He's uh, the Bat. He's sort of, sort of. I haven't scrubbed that memory from my brain yet. Sort of uh, Batman's version, of Mr. Mixelplick, or yes. however you say his name. You know, Billy. You know, Robin like actually has one now too. Does he? Yeah. Like in the in uh, the DC uh, in the Teen Titans TV show. Okay. Not to go. Not that. Crap. Okay. The te- the right. I haven't seen it. Yeah, he gets one too. It actually pops out of his uh, forehead. Oh, all right. <laughs> well then. All right, Billy. You could always like, get a lot of cotton and go as a cloud. Oh! oh! Never. I'd ha- I'd have a big purple helmet. Not with a, a cloud. With a because Galactus. Well, we've discussed it. <laughs> we've discussed. He could be the, he could be the little we've guy discussed from Mario. Galactus oh, endless. Yes. Going over here to Rob. Big Rob, what do you got? I mean, one I'd like to do in the future is be Medea because I think the cloak would set the world on fire. Oh, God. But, <laughs> but I think the, uh, the costume, there's one costume that stands out when I was a kid. I got one of those little books, and it was like, make your own costume. And it was like cool stuff like egg cartons, paper mache, and I made a, a spaceman. And it was like the helmet. You used uh, paper plates for eyes, uh-huh. spray painted it silver, so it probably killed my brain cells. <laughs> but it was great. And it would stand out. People would see me coming to the house going, look at that. And the only downside of it was that it was hard to see, so I fell over some steps. But that was really cool, doing it myself. And it was fun. And it was when Halloween was in prime. So that was uh, cool. So, Zachary? Um, Well, being a sizable chap. Really? Really? you yeah, have presence. I know. I know. I, I hide it well. It's because you do. Of the way that I he used to be. A, he was a sexy nurse once. He told me. Ah. Yeah. Then there was an injunction. But um, <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that you know, I remember when I was a kid, I always did like you know the stereotypical Count Dracula mm-hmm. vampire. Ah. Yeah, exactly. But uh, the one I always kind of wanted to do, and when I get some extra money, I'm going to do it. Uh, going to go back to Home Alone. John Candy's character, Gus Polinski, Polka King of Chicago. Oh, my God. <laughs> I found online a Gus Polinski and the Kenosha Kickers bowling jacket. Oh, my. So I, when I, I'm saving up money, I've got like a little coffee can for the for the bowling jacket. Uh-huh. And I know last year went to New Orleans for Halloween, and I did uh, Walter Sobchak from The Big Lebowski. Okay. 
and you know because with bigger guys there aren't mm-hmm. a whole lot of characters you can really do. Mhm. So Kingpin. Yeah. <laughs> That's Wilson true. Fisk. I mean I got the hair for it. Yeah, you do. It's mm-hmm. it's looking pretty sharp today. Wait, are we talking say. about not the movie Spider-Man King. one or are we talking about Daredevil? Doesn't matter. Kingpin. Well, obviously I know people have confused Michael Clark Duncan and myself. On Met, several occasions. Many times. I remember the first time I met you, I was thinking, you know, it's like, it's the doppelganger effect. Like, it was God, scary. still alive. <laughs> yeah. May he rest in peace. <laughs> yes. We love Michael. I miss that man a lot. His presence was amazing. But anyway, moving over to Tanya. I always like dressing up. I know you do. Your Halloween is like your favorite time. It year. is. So I'm like already planning to see what, what day I can have that uh, Halloween party. Um, I think we're like 20 years running. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think we <laughs> might have missed a year. You can always have it on <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> No, I can't do it on Halloween because mouth. my kids, act, that's like my mom's favorite holiday of the year because she goes running around the neighborhood with both my kids. Well, when both <laughs> my kids went, now just one kid. Um, I don't know. I've had so many, but I think right now my favorite was my steampunk from last year. I just had oh, the, yep, I remember the that. picture up. Um, I think, I mean, I've done the Star Trek. I've done the Star Wars. I've done the, I have actually rented the Princess Leia one from Arlene's mm-hmm. way back <laughs> I want to say maybe 2001 for our neighborhood had a... Is that the one with the the Danishes? Yes, the Danishes. Okay. Um, yes, and that was just still there. It was just... <laughs> uh, it, it wasn't even a Halloween party. It was just a costume party. Like, mm-hmm. uh, I don't even know when it was. It was just a Thursday. Yeah, it, it really was. It was just a neighborhood party <laughs> type thing. Okay, it could have been a Thursday. I think it was a Saturday. But this was definitely pre-kids. Um, so it had been like 19, 19, 20 years ago. Wow. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't know. I want to say definitely the steampunk or going like the pirates theme has been like one of my favorites. She just said that and that made me feel old. She said, you feel old. I was three like, at the time. You're like one of the youngest people in the room. Stop uh, it. I was three at the time. All right. What? Hey, 19 Curly years ago? Q. No, Make a window, Ray. You're leaving. No. no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your point. <laughs> if you're on the street. Go with it, Dolly. What do, we, um, what do you got for us, honey? Well, one thing I do have to say about Arlene's that I mm-hmm. have to say that I love that you don't find around here is a lot of the movie makeup quality makeup that you guys have. Absolutely. Major kudos to that. Cause Thank you. Dolly is a cinematographer. Yes. I went to film school and I love to make myself look gruesome. I don't like doing pretty girly makeup. I like to destroy my face. And yeah, so Demon Productions, Magic, you know, the, those yeah. guys. Yeah, you, you yeah. love all that stuff when they, yeah, when they come to Yeah, we carry four of the top brands, primarily two, but we carry four of the top brands. That yeah, are out one there. of the brands I buy, you have. <laughs> 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 and it's one of the few places you can find that, especially in the area. So, major kudos. I have to say that. Mm-hmm. Um, I've done a lot of. Talk about nurses. My nurse wasn't as sexy. I did <laughs> Silent Hill nurse. Oh wow! When okay. I lived oh, in nice. Vegas, yeah. Mm-hmm. Did the Vegas baby? <laughs> and I walked the parade in Vegas as Silent Hill nurse. And, wow! Like all the creepy walk and everything mm-hmm. scared people. I nice. think that might be my favorite costume because of that. <clears throat> There's pictures of me floating around because people just randomly start stopping me. To You're take gonna pictures. have to post a couple of those to our Facebook mm-hmm. then, so we can all see it. Oh, I have no, one that's it. really creepy. Good, but it's just creepy is good. My own bandages. We have Rob, just for instance, knowing the. Uh-huh. Do you know Coffee. who our boss is? Yeah. Hey, I'm not creepy. <laughs> I actually, what do you mean like I'm, not? I'm not creepy. To like get the color wow, in there. It's usually me that's really starting fun. with you. Oh, you know, everybody takes a turn. Yeah, real and as far as a costume that I want to do that I've never done. What's that? Since I was a little girl, I've always wanted to do Morticia Adams. Mm. That'd be mm-hmm. badass. That'd be like, so awesome. Since I was very little, I always wanted to do Morticia, but I've never found the right Morticia costume. And then you just ring the bell and I go, you rang. <laughs> <laughs> You're big enough. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I'm coming to Ray. Now, oh. Terry, are you observing how I'm going back and forth, back and forth? Do you see where this is going? Uh-huh. Okay, Ray, go ahead. <laughs> tell me what your favorite Halloween costume was, and don't tell me Pink Ranger. Woohoo! <laughs> he was the Red Ranger. No, no I, don't I don't see Ray ever going Red Ranger. I don't like Red. I've never been a Red fan. Anyways. <laughs> um... When I was little, because mm-hmm. the last costume I did, I think I was about 12, because yeah. I started high school, and then, you know. It, it was no longer cool? It was, yeah. I okay. became that guy for for about a year, and then I was like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> uh-huh. Um, I think I did Jack Skeleton. Is that from Nightmare, 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 N
a modern version of what he would look like if if uh, if he lived lived in the hood. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, so like, what are some of the nuances you hoodified him with? Uh, I had a hoodie, of course. Oh, okay. I had the hoodie. I had the uh-huh. the, the the sagging black pants. <laughs> uh, I had I had white ups at the time, so I wore those as as the shoes. Uh huh. Um, I had I had uh, the the his face as a belt buckle, so I wore that. Mask or makeup? Uh, I did the the makeup. Nice. Of course, because my sister was not gonna let me walk out of the house with with a uh, Jack Skeleton y- mask. Y- you think? <laughs> <laughs> so you think? We, we did the makeup. She even shaved my beard at the time. Oh my stars! <laughs> yeah, I even had a, I had a beard at twelve. You had a beard at twelve. I did. <laughs> she shaved my beard, and we did the whole 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 makeup, and that that was the, the costume. Well, Zach, you've had your beard since what four or five? I think uh, I, I, part, since he came out the womb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> came on. No, I was just for some reason when you were talking about the face paint, it made me think. A couple years ago, my cousin was up here from Ohio, and we were driving down Portland Avenue. Mm-hmm. It was actually on Halloween mm-hmm. to go to Fee Brothers, and. Yes. We saw walking down the street all by himself a full blown juggalo. Oh my god! <laughs> like legit makeup. A lot of people confused me for a juggalo too. No, but and it, it made me think of that. Like, like why is nobody hurting this kid? Like, it was it's Halloween. It was a, yeah, and I was wondering like, is it Halloween? It's like, no, this is like he's a, a full blown juggalo. It was the weirdest thing I'd ever seen. <laughs> um. But a costume that I want to do. Costume you want to do. Wow, right? he's so quiet and subdued somewhat today. I know, it's weird. He's, well, he's out of practice. And we he's all are. tired. Who? You. you. Really? You're like all. You. You're just, like thoughtful uh, and whatnot instead of just babbling off. It's kind of wild. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm trying. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be sorry. It was just. It's, it's something different from you. But um, Juggalo really wasn't clowning around, was he? I'm done. Oh. 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 Where is it? Oh. And how long did it take for one of those? Oh, Sherry's in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so, a cos- so a costume that I, I really do want to do, and I'm, I'm being completely honest, but it's going to cost me like 500 bucks to do. I really do want to do the original Black Ranger costume. Okay. You know, the helmet and everything. Um, the Walter Jones Black Ranger. And Johnny. Cause they Johnny Young Bosch. Because <laughs> they had the same costume, basically. Yes. Okay. Black is uh, hard to find. That it is. Mm-hmm. Is it rare? Black Ranger is rare. But I want... Not the mask. I want the helmet, the full blown helmet. That even more rare. Clicks, <laughs> clicks on. I, I have the power coin already, so I, all I gotta do is get the morpher. Okay. Yeah, I, well, I we have contacts now. We'll start working them. See why, if we can why find is it. Black Ranger rarer than the other colors? I always wondered that too. They just didn't make a lot of them. Um, Red Ranger was much more popular. Blue Ranger to a degree. Uh, of course, pink. Is it because he Pink, was the leader? Yellow, n- yellow was not as popular either. Mm-hmm. Lone. Um, so much more difficult to get. Never yeah. I'm assuming green Rune. might be a little more popular. No, I, I green said green lo- was lone. for about oh, a lone. year or two lone after ranger. that. Lone ranger. very difficult to get. <laughs> Hi-ho, silver yeah. away. Different uh, type of ranger. That would be uh, interesting. Yes. Actually, one that I'm, that, that I'm planning on doing for FC3 <clears throat> is uh, Red X. From, Red, Red X? From Teen Titans. It's oh, okay. one of Robin's alter egos. Gotcha. But I want to do a uh, military uh, type of type of feel to it uh-huh. instead of you know tights and a cape because I'm too fat for tights. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's men, manly men, <laughs> men in tights. <laughs> jocks are the mighty. <laughs> oh God! I would hey, I would do jocks are the mighty. My mom would I'm be sure so you proud would. of me. Yes. <laughs> All right, Terry. It's now time for you to go back onto the hot seat. What's your favorite Halloween costume that you've ever worn? When I get to do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you had a few. I don't want to hear it. I had a few. Um, I think um, for a couple different years I did a vampire, but I did vampires from various walks of life and okay. stages of life. That means she uh-huh. ended up in Twilight. Did you do oh, a vampire no, no, pixie no. once? I did a vampire pixie once. That was probably that one. one of my favorites. Yeah. Very dark looking, very, you know, very fun. And um, But I had a lot of fun doing the makeup, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I have my favorite makeups, too, for that. But I uh, did it all from, from scratch. You know, got my... Uh, my very dark and grayish look, um, as opposed to white, which I think is a mistake. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> People don't understand. I didn't sparkle. I promise. You have to do the skin tones to make it look legit. That's right. No, you do. And uh, yeah, so I went with uh, one of my favorite uh, moonlight whites that I really liked a lot and had a little fun with that and played game with Mm. with that a little bit and went with kind of a a Grecian goddess look and had a little fun. Now, Um, is there one costume you're just dying to try that you haven't yet? Oh, I really want to put together some kind of very funky steampunk. Um, we've been dealing with it quite a I'm bit. I'm seeing a trend here with Yeah, well, that's, Dan and I have <laughs> talked about it repeatedly that we mm-hmm. want to do more with steampunk because there's a great local community for it, and I yes. think it just looks cool. There, And we see a lot of people going down to um, Steampunk World's Fair. Mm-hmm. Um, we see a lot of, there's a couple different fairs around the region, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, so um, we see quite a bit of that, but I'd really like to play games with a Mad Hatter, um, but uh, get a corset look in there. I'm going to play games with a few different pieces, I think, and and get some some looks together. So. <laughs> I, looks I did one really of those random. Excited over there. I did one of those <laughs> random steampunk name generators, and mm-hmm. I came out as as Count Tristan von Whiskey Waffle. <laughs> I have no idea where the hell they came up with that. I'm like staring at the screen for like a good well, five the minutes. Well, Tristan going, thing works actually, though. Yeah, you had me at whiskey waffle. <laughs> oh, seriously, I'm like, wow. Actually, I'm not sure. actually, do you remember when uh, when I made the cards for everybody? For, yes. For the unconventionals. Yes. If you ever need a steampunk name, just go look at Eric's uh, cards that I made for him. Oh, his Eric, whole, your Tom Waite impersonator. Yeah, his his. Uh, He's his, got a guy in his crew. Seriously, it looks like a young Tom Waite. I mean, the ears, they stick out like Dumbos. It's amazing. <laughs> and we love it's just you, Eric. The, 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 fa- the shape of his face, everything is like, oh, my God, it's Tom Waits' doppelganger. It's amazing. I, I almost want to give him, like, yeah, that, that guy. Downtown train. <laughs> well, yeah, do you ever need a steampunk name? Just go look at Eric's cards. I, I seriously think we should be, like, going full steampunk with, with the convention at one point or another. Just be because amazing. I think that'd be badass. I'm picking up what you just put down there. You go in it? I, I steampunk Power Ranger. Cooking? Full steampunk. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. None of y'all got that? Come Chris. On. Yeah. Hey, Chris. What? Um, remind me sometime to send you a picture of one of my favorite cosplays. Um, there's this woman who does these really amazing ones, and she did one, a steampunk lady Darth Vader. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. That, cool. that sounds cool. It was cool. amazing. <laughs> I think uh, Chris just became the emoji with the hard eyes Yay! the second you say that. Bunky, 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 bunky. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Terry, if we want to know more about Arlene's costumes, what should we do? How should we contact you? Absolutely. Our website is www.arlenescostumes.com. Pretty much Costume spell plural, it. right? Costumes Arlene's costumes? Plural, okay. yes. A R L E N E S. Spell out costumes with an S at the end. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. So, um, and on there are uh, locations for our all the information for both of our locations. Um, you can also purchase right from that website, but if you have questions, you can call us at the office, and we're happy to help with anything that you might need. And more often than not, when you call, you're probably going to end up getting Terry. <laughs> and so she'll say hi, and then you'll be able to say, hi, I heard you on the radio, and you'll be like, no, you didn't, because it's a podcast. Anyway. Um, <laughs> well, I, I wear you many hats around that place, yeah. and that is just one of them. <laughs> I heard so. you on the internet, they could say. There you go. That's right. <laughs> but we also know what the internet is really for. Any, anyway. <laughs> so for the whole gang, we're going to wrap this one up. And I appreciate your time with us today, uh, there, there, Terry. Thank you very, very much. No problem. And, uh, and, and you did great. And, and we appreciate you, you know, suffering the hot seat for us. <laughs> and, and suffering uh, me. So for Billy and for, for Ray and for Tanya, for Terry, for Deli, for Sherry, for Zach, for Rob, and for Tony hiding in the corner, this is Chris, and this has been Monkey Business, a product of the Mighty Monkey Corporation, purveyors and producers of the Flower City Comic Con, coming at you June 9th and 10th, 2018, at the Rochester Riverside Convention Center. Did anybody see his little princess wave? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Follow us on Facebook, www.facebook.com uh, slash fc3roc. And for those of you who might be interested in sponsoring us, we accept all questions at sponsors at fc3roc.com. Get on board. Come support us. We love you. Bye-bye. And one final thought. If yes. you're planning on dressing as Galactus, he's not, not a, a cloud! cloud!